Look, I'm gonna tell y'all the story because I was gonna write it on my Facebook page, but I might as well tell you the story, right? So, one time, I'm in the county jail, right? And, uh, man, just mind my business, you know me. You know, a little low body and shit, right? And this big ass buff dude, you feel me? He from Zilla, you feel me? Some old hood in Sacramento that just think they just the meanest, baddest gang ever, right? So he got all these tattoos on his face and shit, you feel me? Um, I'm going to remember his name in a minute, right? <sighs> but the nigga Clutch was there. I remember Clutch was there. I don't remember the other Zilla nigga, right? But right, this is a good story too. Because basically it's like, I be watching movies and shit. I be seeing like, live, live, like videos and... Niggas be fighting three niggas. I really been fought three niggas before. So, and whooped they ass. So, let me tell you about this one. Because this one, it was, it was, it, it was crazy. So, so this the thing. The nigga come in there, right? He broke. He, you know what I'm saying? Hella buff. So, he bullying niggas. They, you know what they do in the Sacramento County Jail. They run up in niggas' cells and shit and try to rob them and shit. Right? The nigga was, he had run up in the Mexican cell. Right? And everybody, that's why everybody was scared of him. He ran up in one of the Mexican cells, beat the Mexican up. He was a Pisces, you know, they be by themselves. Beat the Pisces up, went in the nigga booty and took his dope out. Found out he had some dope, went in his booty. They niggas was scared of him, right? I don't be listening to all that shit. So, man, mind you, it's like it's like store day, you know, like a weekend. You know, you get your canteen or whatever. So we all outside, right? They let the bottom tier up, then they let the top tier up. You feel me? I'm on the top tier with him, so... I go get my food and go back to my cell. And I'm just standing on my dough chilling. Right? You know me though, right? I can't, I can't like control my face. So it's an old ass man, right? You know, they be in jail for some bullshit. And you can tell his family to send him some little, little food, you feel me? So he could, you know, take care of himself. They don't feed you nothing in there. And uh bro, punch him and take his shit. And just look at everybody and go, oh, nigga, who want it? And I'm just sitting on my cell. I'm trying to mind my business, but I kind of go, <laughs> so he like you, nigga. I'm like, you know what I'm saying, me? I'm high anxiety, you feel me? You feel me? This one of my calmest fights. So lunch coming. So we go lock up. Boop, boop, boop. I go lay down. Nigga, I had the best snap ever. I swear. Slept like a baby. Child coming. Bam. Boop. Put on my shoes. Run straight at the nigga. Go straight to the cell. Bam. Knock him out. Yeah. And this is the problem. This is why I've advanced. You feel me? This is why I be stopping niggas out. Let me tell you why. You knock a nigga out, he might think you just got a lucky one and want to do it again. So he want to do it again. Mind you, everybody sit in, everybody's scared of this nigga, right? I'm from Metaview. It's some Metaview niggas there. Little drugs, not baby drugs. The homie Little Drugs. E bomb, right? Spoke to this nigga. They're supposed to be by the cell when we fight. It's two Zilla niggas by the cell. You feel me? You know prison jail etiquette. Your pilot's supposed to come have your back. These niggas so scared, they on the other side. Everybody watching the fight. He want, he want to fight again. I spin right back around on him again. This time, I don't get to ah, slide in like a tiger. You feel me? So I uh, da, 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 bop, drop him. Uh, you feel me? Y'all, he want it again. So this time, I'm going to buff short nigga. I go in there, hit him again. He goes straight for the tackle. Bam, it's a little uh, little desk in there. So my feet go right from under me. Big mistake. I'm a grappler, I'm a wrestler. Immediately as my feet go right from under me because of the desk, I wrap my feet around his torso. Bam, he went for the tackle. So his head in my shit. I immediately drop my body and give it to you that. Bam! Oh! He tried to bite me. The nigga tried to bite me. So I pull that guillotine in. Try to rip his neck off. Now his homeboy's trying to come in. That nigga screamed like a... Screaming. You feel me? Them niggas screaming.
screaming. He begging him to back up. I tell that nigga, I'm going to kill this nigga. You don't back the fuck up right now. This is the crazy part. Mind you, I'm on my back. I swear if they would have touched me, I would have snapped, crackle, popped that nigga. <clears throat> He's screaming like a bitch. I got him. I don't trust these niggas. My team still ain't showed up. This is a story why I don't be fucking with niggas. Hey, but anyway. So, I tell these niggas, this house gonna go. Clutch their axe. I'm gonna get up, nigga. I'm gonna walk out this nigga cell. I'm gonna let him go. Back the fuck up. They like, don't do nothing to him. That's why I said the most poor niggas really nice. You just gotta bust them aside their shit one time. You feel me? But anyway, make a long story short, after that, when I come out on the motherfucker, go, ah, who else want it? And go back in my cell, man. See, the crazy part about it is, see, me, this is why they be some bullshit. I'll be in there some bullshit, and these niggas be going to jail for life. That was the same nigga that ended up stabbing lab. You feel me? But that's a whole other story. What's that nigga name? With the tattoos all over his face. The buff. Yeah, man. Ask Clutch, though. Ask Ebon. Yeah. Ask any of them niggas that was in there acting like they don't know me.